still become a hurricane uh, by late Tuesday afternoon. Landfall is currently expected along the Big Bend region on Wednesday, and it could arrive at the state of Florida as strong as a Category 2 hurricane. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, August 28th, and I'm up here in Nashville, Tennessee, about to head to Miami, Florida. But as you can see, there's a tropical storm coming across the Gulf of Mexico, going to be hit, turning into a hurricane. So in this video, I'm going to show you what to expect during this tropical storm and this hurricane, and also how to prepare if you're a truck driver and what steps you need to take to make sure that you're safe so you can get back home with your loved ones. So let's get into it. There's something wrong with it. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're Dahlia is to bring heavy rainfall and strong winds to parts of Florida. This week, Governor Ron DeSantis, he's urging residents to be vigilant and prepare for what's to come. And it could arrive at the state of Florida as strong as a Category 2 hurricane. Speaking from the state's emergency operations center in Tallahassee today, Governor Ron DeSantis says tropical storm Idalia is expected to become a hurricane by late Tuesday afternoon and make landfall in Florida as early as Wednesday. Floridians along our Gulf Coast should be vigilant even if you're currently outside the cone. The storm is expected to bring heavy rainfall, strong winds and possible tornadoes to the west coast of Florida and the panhandle. DeSantis says the state is ready. So we have mobilized 1,100 National Guardsmen, and they have at their disposal 2,400 high water vehicles, as well as 12 aircraft that can be used for rescue and recovery efforts. The EOC in Tallahassee will go to a level one 24 7 operation beginning on Monday. The governor is also warning residents about power outages, but mentions power companies will start staging personnel on Monday. If you are uh, in the path of this storm, you should expect power outages. So, so please prepare for that. This press conference comes a day after DeSantis issued an executive order declaring a state of emergency for 33 counties that could get impacted from Fort Myers to the Panhandle. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for watching the channel. So as you can see, we're about to head toward this hurricane. I'm up here in Nashville. We just picked up our load. The problem is we got an ABS light going on with our trailer, and I found a blinker light out, so we're stopping getting that fixed before we go. So in this video, I want to give you 10 steps that you can prepare for a hurricane. Now, we're going to Miami, so as you see, it looks like it's going to be hitting Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. If you're going to be anywhere around those areas, Make sure that you stay safe and follow these tips that I'm about to give you. My goal is to get past it. You don't know to Miami and get past it, but well, you never know what happens. So we'll, we'll go from there. But all right, so make sure you stick with the video all the way to the end so I can go over these tips. Number one is you want to stay informed. Watch the news cycles, watch YouTube videos, listen to the weather, stay informed if you're going to be driving in a tropical depression or a hurricane, letting you know exactly what's going on. Number two is you want to plan ahead like we're doing right now. We're going to try, if I have to, drive through the night, whatever, to get ahead of this storm but because I'm staying informed and I, you, that's what you got to do. You got to plan ahead of things and sometimes find alternate routes, make your different ways. You know, even in a snowstorm when it snows bad, you may have, you know, you may want to get ahead of it or around it. So make sure, number one, you're staying informed, two, you're planning ahead. Uh, three, if you're a flat better, you want to make sure your load's secure. And it's just make sure you're tied down really good. Um, double check, triple check. Make sure uh, you're checking that load securement as much as you can. Number four tip is you want to make sure that your fuel tank is full. You don't want to get into a hurricane or a flooded area or somewhere and you run out of fuel because you never know what's going to happen. We might get down to Miami and stuff can get teared up, coming back up, and I can get low on fuel, and I might not, I might find myself in a situation where I can't get fuel, and that wouldn't be no good. So I'm not gonna let it go by a half a tank. When it's the half a tank, I'm gonna stop and keep that thing full. That way, I'm prepared no matter what. If I need to park and 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 and, and wait this thing out, I'll have a full tank to keep me going. That's my home, so I got to make sure I do that. 
Number five is stock up on supplies, which, hey, you say I'm always going to have a lot of food to eat in my truck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but keep your bottle of water. Make sure you have some non-perishable food. Make sure you've got a first aid kit. Make sure you've got flashlights. Make sure you got extra blanket as a close. Have everything, which I always get out in my truck anyway. My truck's my home, and it stays stocked. You know what I'm saying? I keep it stocked full of all kinds of food and goodies and whatever I need. Make sure you're doing that. Pile all. Aspirin. You should be doing that anyway, but always, especially if you're going to be going to a storm, that you make sure you stay fully stocked up. Okay, number six is you want to avoid flooded roads. You know the sign that they say, if you don't know, don't go. Turn around, don't drown. That's what, I mean, definitely. If you, you don't know, you can't judge the depth. You see water going across, you may think that you can go across and it can be like, you might think it's this deep, it can be really deep and you just blah, blah, blah. And take you right off. A lot of people die during these storms because they're not listening, not paying attention. Don't drive in the water because you don't know what the depth is. So make sure you're avoided flooded roads. Number seven, and it should be a given, that's six, seven, is maintain safe following distance, y'all. Especially during a storm, if things gonna happen, you wanna make sure you can slow down. Uh, you got plenty of stop because there's gonna be a lot of water on the road. Uh, so we're gonna keep our distance away from people. Plus you got wind gusts and stuff. You don't wanna roll over onto somebody or somebody rolling on you. So just kinda stay away from everybody. That's a good rule of thumb, okay? All right, number eight is caution of winds. When you're passing vehicles or if you're going across a bridge or an open area, you gotta watch out for these winds. But take, make sure you're you're keeping, you're being aware of your surroundings. Make sure both hands are on the steering wheel because when that wind hits, it can just you. So you shouldn't be driving these strong winds, but definitely if you got some gust, be prepared, both hands on the steering wheel and be ready for it. Okay, number nine, is you need to find shelter, okay? If it gets really bad, don't drown in your truck. Okay, go find a hurricane shelter or get somewhere, get out of the truck and get somewhere safe. Look, the number one asset that you're gonna haul is your home. You know what I'm saying? That's the number one asset is yourself. You got always gotta get back to your family. Don't worry about that load, okay? They got insurance on that. You might have life insurance on you too, but you know, you still need to get them back. You know, make sure if you gotta go to a shelter, Go to shelter. So you got to do it. You got to do it. Number ten, and that's the last step, is you need to communicate. To always communicate uh, with your loved ones, the route plan that you're going with. That way, you if you get down somewhere, and, and you don't, and nobody's hearing from you. They know where you're at. Stay in touch with dispatch. Stay in touch with your wife, husband. Let them know exactly what you're doing. And also, make sure you keep a charged phone, battery powered all the way up. If something happens, you get get some water in your truck. Something happens and it messes up, wreck. You can't charge your phone. Keep your phone fully charged. All right. Hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Because I'm going to teach you things the CDL school will not teach you. Also, looking for a great job. Somewhere that's going to treat you respect. Somewhere you're going to make some money. Somewhere you're going to be able to do your 34-hour break at home. Call the number at the bottom of your screen. 706-226-1003. Ask Patina. Tell me, boy, Sean sent you. Remember. They got a great sign on bonus. And if you live in Florida, they hire Florida and you can still get home in Florida every week. So you definitely want to call the Rosedale Transport. Great company. Best company I ever worked for. Call them and make sure you tell them your boy Sean sent you. Straight off Sean. Get it.